The word geometry is derived from the Greek words geo, meaning earth, and metron, meaning to measure. Around 325 BC, Euclid, a teacher of mathematics at Alexandria in Egypt, collected all the known work and arranged it in his famous treatise called Elements. He divided the elements into 13 chapters, each called a book. These books influenced the whole world's understanding of geometry for generations to come. Euclid listed 23 definitions in Book 1 of the Elements. Few of Euclid's definitions, also called axioms. 1. A point is that which has no part. 2. A line is a breadthless length meaning it has no breadth. Third, the ends of a line are points. Four, a straight line is a line which lies evenly with the points on itself. Five, a surface is that which has length and breadth only, meaning it has only length and width. Six, the edges of a surface are lines. Seven, a plane surface is a surface which lies evenly with the straight lines on itself. The definitions of a point, a line and a plane are not accepted by mathematicians today. Therefore, these terms are taken as undefined. Euclid's postulates 1. A straight line can be drawn from any point to any point. 2. A terminated line can be produced indefinitely. 3. It is possible to describe a circle with any center, any distance. 4. All right angles are equal to one another. 5. If a straight line falling on two straight lines makes the interior angles on the same side of it taken together less than the two right angles, then the two straight lines, if produced indefinitely, meet on that side on which the sum of angles is less than two right angles. Two equivalent versions of the fifth Euclid's postulates. One, for every line L and for every point P not lying on L, there exists a unique line M passing through P and parallel to L. Two, Two distinct intersecting lines cannot be parallel to the same line. All the attempts to prove the fifth postulate of Euclid using the first four postulates and the other axioms as theorems failed. But those efforts led to the creation of several other geometries called the non-Euclidean geometries. Euclid's axioms 1. Things which are equal to the same things are also equal to each other. 2. If equals are added to equals, then the wholes are equal. 3. If equals are subtracted from equals, then the remainders are equal. 4. Things which coincide with one another are equal to one another. 5. The whole is greater than the part. Thanks for watching the video. Please visit our website theopenbook.in.